Last week was Lightning Safety Awareness Week in Pennsylvania, intended to highlight the threat that lightning poses to life and property. Last year, there were about 1.4 million lightning strikes in Pennsylvania. That's about 30 per square mile on average. Colorado actually averaged fewer lightning strikes per square mile last year than Pennsylvania, but Colorado thunderstorms are more likely to produce big hail. A perfect example was last Wednesday evening when dozens of spectators were injured by hail at a concert near Red Rocks Amphitheater, an awe-inspiring outdoor venue about 15 miles west of Denver. But tucked in the foothills of the Rockies, Red Rocks is also prone to late-day summer thunderstorms. I'd like to walk you through a timeline of last Wednesday's hail incident using a radar loop. Now Denver is circled here and the arrow points to Red Rocks. So we start at 8.18 p.m. local time. Notice a thunderstorm passing north of the venue. Because of that, a few minutes earlier, Red Rocks had delayed the concert and sent people to their cars. Also notice more thunderstorms building to the west. Now we'll go forward about 20 minutes to 8.35 p.m. At this time, the venue issued an all clear because that first thunderstorm had moved past. But it's worth mentioning that it was still close enough that lightning would have been an issue. Further west, the next batch of thunderstorms was showing plenty of purple pixels, generally a fingerprint for hail. Now let's go forward a half hour to 9.04 p.m. when the National Weather Service issued a severe thunderstorm warning for golf ball sized hail, specifically mentioning Red Rocks. But it wasn't until 10 minutes later, 9.14 p.m., that a weather delay was announced at the venue. By then, the thunderstorm was nearly there. The hail arrived around 9.20 p.m., so concert goers had only about six minutes to seek shelter. And the result was chaos. Many attendees exposed to the elements. The hail lasted about five minutes. Seven people were taken to the hospital, 80 to 90 others treated on site. Injuries ranged from cuts and bruises to broken bones in what's likely one of the biggest hail storm injury events in recent U.S. history. Just as concerning as the 10 minutes between the National Weather Service warning and the announcement at the venue, was the fact that in the two hours before the hailstorm, there wasn't a single period longer than five minutes when lightning wasn't within 10 miles of Red Rocks. So lightning was a legitimate concern even without the hail. Bottom line, it's still way too common for venues to be poorly prepared when dangerous weather intersects with large outdoor events. Just on Monday, lightning was within five miles of a Baltimore Orioles game for more than 15 minutes before play was stopped. My advice, don't assume that the venue has you covered. Stay tuned. The extended forecast is next.